So we as a team just kind of need to sit down um, and ignore the fact that I look naked because I promise I'm not. But besides that, today's video is going to be a very challenging one for me. I have made the executive decision to not purchase the beautiful Anastasia Riviera palette because Frida wants to buy a house. And if Frida's going to buy a house, she needs to stop buying a lot of makeup. Um, and I've kind of decided that I think I have almost if not every single one of these colors already in my collection in a lot of palettes that I feel like a lot of you guys would have. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to try and do a makeup tutorial mimicking the Riviera palette and just pulling from a different, you know, array of palettes. So I have some colors from the Morphe James Charles palette that I am going to pull from, aka the white because I don't own any other white. Um, and then I have some shadows from the ColourPop Through My Eyes palette. And then I also have some shadows from the BH Cosmetic Weekend Festival palette. And then I have some, believe it or not, from other Anastasia palettes. And then I have some Juvia's Place palette. So you guys are probably like, Frida, this is such a pointless video. Why didn't you just buy it? But seriously, you guys, I need to stop buying $50 palettes and just focus on what I have. So here we are. Anyways, this video might get a little annoying with me jumping back and forth from all these palettes, but I'm kind of challenging myself to just use what I have and stop buying so much stuff, okay? So with all that being said, we're just gonna get started in today's video. I hope this helps you guys, and if it doesn't, and it's just annoying, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm gonna prime my eyelids and I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Swan, and I'm just using that to prime everything. I finished priming my eyes, but I just wanna quickly mention, I did watch Samantha Ravindahl's video where she did do something very similar to this, and she kind of pulled from her collection um, a lot of like her single shadows, and so she just decided she didn't wanna spend the money on it now that she's not doing any PR, and I applaud her for that. So um, I was really excited to see that she was kind of doing the same thing, um, just trying to save money. So I'm really excited to see what I can create and hopefully inspire you guys to look further into your collection before being so quick to buy something just because there's so many palettes being released that it's like they're trying to make us broke y'all like for real but so yeah now we're gonna go ahead and start with the first shadow and the first one I'm going to dupe is sales and it's just a matte white shade so I'm going in the Morphe and James Charles palette and I'm just going to take the shade flashback which is the white one right there and I'm gonna put it all over my lid just to kind of give everything a good base now the next shade I'm going to dupe is the state one which just looks like a nice little peachy color and it's a really good transition stage. So the one that I think is closest to that is in a wink which is this one right here inside of the Through My Eyes palette by I Love Set E and ColourPop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this into my transition area and the brush that I'm using is just a big fluffy Morphe blending brush. So I'm gonna take that into my crease. The next shade that I'm duping is Cabana, which is more of that like mustardy kind of neutral shade. It looks very yellow on the picture of the eyeshadow palette, but with the swatches, it looks more mustardy. So the one that I chose is, again, the Through My Eyes palette from I Love Study E. I'm gonna use Wild Soul, which is this mustard shade right here. And I'm gonna take it on that same fluffy brush that I was using earlier. Now the next shade that I'm trying to dupe is called Coastline, which is more of that like corally warm orange color. So I'm gonna use Euphoric from that same palette right here because it looks very coral, orangey. So I'm just gonna take that one and work it into my crease. Now the next shade is where we get more into the fun colors and that one is Bahamas, which is a bright pink one. And you could either use the BH Cosmetics Festival palette if you guys have it. And you could take the shade Dippy, which is that bright pink one right there. Or if you guys even had the, um, the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place, which is this one, you could take this pink one down here and then use that purple one for the purple shade. Or if you guys didn't have either one of these, I think the James Charles palette has 
just as good of a pink which is the one down here so whatever you guys want to do i'm going to go ahead and take the one that's in the bh cosmetics festival palette and i'm going to work that in with the sigma e25 blending brush so i'm going to take that shade dippy right in here i'm going to start working that into my outer corner and then also into my crease I'm gonna dip back into Euphoric real quick and just kind of blend out those outer edges to blend those two shades together. Next shadow is pretty easy to dupe and that one's just the purple matte one inside of the palette. And I think that one's called Canes, C-A-N-N-E-S. I think that's how you say it, but I'm gonna give you guys a couple options. You can go in the Morphe James Charles palette again and you can go into this shade right here or that one whatever one you guys want to do you have two purples to choose from which are escape and single and then there's also inside of the bh cosmetics weekend festival palette there is this purple right down here and then you guys if you have the zulu by juvia's place you can also go inside of that one and just use this purple right here so i'm gonna go ahead and just go in with the weekend festival palette since i'm taking so many from this one um, and i'm gonna go in with that same sigma brush that i was using the e25 and take that purple shade which is called swag and i'm going to build it up on my outer corner I'm going to take whatever's left over from that orange color and kind of buff out the outer edges up here. I don't really mind what's down here just because I'm going to clean it up with a um, makeup wipe. So just ignore that. I know it looks super messy, but I don't really mind. One thing that pisses me off so bad about doing eyeshadow is the fact that my eye shape is so weird. And I explain this in every video, but if you guys can see like right there where it looks like stuck, it's literally just the shape of my eye. And I don't know why it does it because it does it on this side up here too. And it just never fails to happen. I don't understand. And I just hate my eye shape and I wish I could change it so bad. Um, I'm going to go into the shade Wild Soul right there and just kind of blend out these outer edges once again. Next shade we're going to dupe is Palm, which is the brown shade inside of the palette. So you can either take, again, the Festival palette, and there's a brown down here on this corner, or inside the James Charles palette, there are plenty of browns for you guys to choose from as well up there on that corner. Um, or, I mean, just like, you guys have a brown. You get what I'm saying. So I'm going to take the brown that's inside of the BH Cosmetics palette, which is this one right here. It's called hipster just because well it's right here in front of me so why not i'm going to take a little bit more of the swag purple shade and build it up on top of that brown and see if i can kind of deepen up the purple anymore I'm not going to lie, I wasn't sure why there was a brown inside of the palette. Like, I thought it was just kind of weird to have that in there. Um, but now I understand, like, especially for the outer corner to smoke it all out and kind of drag it all together. I think it brings the look together really, really well. The next shade that I'm going to dupe and I'm going to place that on the inner corner of my lid is the shade Inheritance, which is like a yellow gold. So you can, again, go into this BH Cosmetics palette and take the shade Euphoria if you guys want to, which is that yellow gold. Or if you don't have that palette um, and you happen to have the Magic palette by Juvia's Place, there's also Nubia, which is that yellow gold right up there. Um, but just for the sake of us using the Festival palette so much, I'm gonna go ahead and take that Euphoria shade. Before I do anything else, I'm going to just take a makeup wipe and just kind of clean up right here.
I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes before we do anything with the lower lash line or inner corner. So I'm gonna use the Bold Face Lashes in the style Worth It. These are so pretty. I love them so much and they look so good with like dramatic looks and just everyday looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on. And then I think I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera just so this video isn't like forever long. Um, and then I'll be right back so we can do the lower lash line together and just like finish it all off just cause I just wanna save some time. I don't wanna be here forever. So I guess I'll be back once my lashes are on and the rest of my makeup is done. Just waiting for my lash glue to dry, but while I do that, I'm gonna work on the lower lash line. And so the first shade that I'm putting down is the Wild Soul shade right here, which is the one that I thought was most like Cabana. So I'm gonna take that on a, what is this, a Luxie. 121 mini tapered brush. I love these brushes for underneath the eye. I've mentioned them before. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of blow that out underneath the lower lash line to connect the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take the shade Euphoric, which I felt was most like coastline, and I'm going to take that right on the outer corner as well. Just basically kind of blending in what we did up there to this lower lash line. I'm going to take the purple shade again and only focus that on the outer corner of the lower lash line just because I'm doing something different to the inner corner. The sun is starting to set, so I'm sorry if the lighting is gonna get weird in a second. I'm trying to speed this up, but um, the next shade I'm duping is Seashells, which is that like sea foam blue kind of color. And it looks very blue on the picture of the palette, but then once the swatches, it looks a little bit closer to this like teal blue shade right here. So this one's called Ultimate inside of the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm just going to take that since it's like the closest thing. Or if you guys have those Juvia's Place palettes, you could also take this shade right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one from the BH Cosmetics palette. Real quickly, I'm gonna take the big fluffy brush that I was using, go back to the Through My Eyes palette and take Wild Soul and go over everything on all of the edges to kind of blend it all together. This is actually really difficult not having the palette like in front of me because I obviously can't tell you guys whether these are like spot on or not because some of them have like more saturation on the picture. Some of them don't have as much. So it looks like that um, seashells color is more teal and vibrant than the one that I showed you guys. So if you happen to have the Urban Decay palette with all of these like metal shadows, I feel like the shade Amp is gonna be really, really close to that seashell. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one as well, just to show you guys um, if that's a little bit closer. I don't want everybody to be like, you're not even close to it. But like, honestly, you guys, I haven't seen it in person. So I really can't tell you what it looks like. Okay, so again, with this same Urban Decay palette, I feel as though the Seaside sh Silver Shade, oh my God, that's a mouthful, Seaside Silver Shade um, is very similar to Glam Rock, which is this silver one right there. So I'm gonna take that into my inner corner. It just so happens to be the most beautiful silver like on God's earth. Like, do you guys see how beautiful that is? I love this color so much. Um, I'm just taking that. I think this is it. I'm just gonna put some mascara on and we're good. I'm just gonna do a really simple lip for today. Just since this eye look is super bold. You guys are wondering, this is the L'Oreal Color Rich Matte Sharpening Lip Liner in the shade 112. Then taking Jeffree Star on Nude. 
I keep moving my stuff over because the light is like following me as I'm moving, but this is the completed look and I'm so excited with how it turned out. I'm really glad I decided to save my money and just play with the things that I do have and create this and kind of do something similar. So I do definitely recommend for you guys to do the same and look inside your collection and see what you can create along the lines of that palette as well. So definitely let me know if you guys ended up purchasing it or if you're doing the same thing and kind of digging into your own collections because I'm super interested to see what everybody else is doing. I've seen some dupe videos um, and I've seen some review videos and stuff. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this look specifically that I did. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching me kind of play with all these colors and try and recreate and dupe this palette. I hope I helped some of you save some money, but I will talk to you guys in my next video and thank you so much for being here. And like I said, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.